job to save those we love. What are you doing here, Dad? I don't think I made the right decision. She's taking her son back. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another All-American video if you're new. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for All-American Season 3, Episode 4. If you're a fan of All-American, if you love All-American, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on All-American, you get them. And follow all my social media accounts. Link is down below in the description. Now, the title to this episode is My Mind's Playing Tricks on Me, and the description for this episode reads, Following Layla's advice to see a therapist, Spencer tries to get to the root of his problem, which leads to a shocking revelation. Jordan grows concerned about Simone's behavior, but when he learns the reason why, he tries to be supportive in the way she needs. Even though Asher is still suspended, he tries to prove himself to Montez and earn a potential place somehow on the team. Meanwhile, Coop wants to make a music video and turns to the community to help, while Layla and her dad face off about patience. So that's the description for episode 4. I thought it was a really solid episode, man. I really enjoyed Spencer going to therapy and stuff. He's trying to find the root of his problem. He's trying to find his stuck point, you know, why he can't get past the shooting and stuff like that. So I thought that was interesting. And there was a lot of other stuff that was pretty interesting in this episode. I can't wait to talk about it. So I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm just going to get right into the recap. When the episode first starts, we see Spencer in therapy. We see this new guy, this new character. And this guy is going to be Spencer's therapist. I'm not sure for how long, but he got introduced in this episode. Now we see Coop goes to meet up with Patience. And the two of them are filming this song. And the song is fire. You know, there's people watching, recording and stuff. Everybody's enjoying what they see or hear. Next, we see Asher. He's just putting in work in the weight room. He's not playing, man. He's trying to get his spot back on the team. He wants to play football. Now, next, we see Jordan, and he's out eating some food, and he's waiting on Simone, but she texts him that she can't make it. Next, we see Darnell, and he's packing up. You know, he's looking at pictures of him and his friends, him and his family. He has no choice but to leave because his mom's real messed up. His mom is hurt and she needs him back where she is. You can tell Dylan's pretty upset. He's standing in the background and he's watching while Darnell is packing. Dylan got really close to Darnell in the past season. Now we see Coop and Spencer walks up to her in the hallway. They talk about the song that Coop and Patience made. Spencer is saying how fire it is, that it's going viral and stuff like that. But then we see Coop's guidance counselor come and say that she's going to have to repeat junior year if she doesn't start making a change. Spencer tells her that she needs to get on it, but she says that music is her main focus and that's her therapy. Next, we see the Baker family and Billy Baker's dad pops up. You know, he pops in from time to time. They're shocked to see him, but he just pops up. Jordan invited him apparently, but they're not really happy to see him. It's been a while since they've seen him. Grandpa Willie wants to help Jordan focus on what's important, but he's too worried about Simone. Now we see Spencer in therapy session and the therapist is trying to get to the bottom of what's really going on. He's trying to really get to know Spencer. He's asking all types of questions. He's trying to figure out why Spencer is really stuck on this shooting and why he can't let it go, why he can't get past it. Next, we see Dylan, Spencer, and Darnell. And Dylan wants Darnell to stick around for a little bit to play something with him. And Darnell has something to do. You know, Darnell leaves and Spencer can tell that Dylan is really upset. Now, next we see Coach Montez and she's coaching the class. She has video footage of their first game and she's trying to have the class point out what they did wrong. She's trying to have them point out what they can improve on and stuff. I really feel bad for Asher. He's just sitting in the class and he's the only one with no uniform on. And he seems like the one that's the most interested in playing football. 
he seems more motivated and focused than anybody on the team except for Jordan you know Jordan he seems focused but he's too busy worrying about Simone in the class and Montez calls him out on it we see Asher talk to the coach more about why he needs to be on the team and she's still not letting him have a place on the team she's saying that he still needs to work hard and prove that he has a spot next we see Spencer talking to his mom and she says how did it go with the therapy session if talking about it is too hard then let him know and Spencer said talking about it ain't the problem I just don't see the point so he doesn't really see the point in doing it right now but he will later on best believe that next we see Coop and Patience and they're talking more about their song Coop is writing more music and they want to do a music video Layla walks in and talks to them and they're just wondering about a music video which would be pretty dope now next we see Spencer he ends up in the same place as Olivia and I thought it was going to be another awkward scene between the two of them but it actually wasn't the two of them actually conversated you know Spencer was saying that you know he used to have moves back in the day he used to be able to dance and the two of them were really vibing they were asking how each other has been and then they hugged each other and you could just tell in that moment that these two are gonna end up together you can just tell that they like each other like there's no doubt about it next we see Simone go to Jordan's house and she tells him that she's sorry but she has a lot going on a lot on her mind and everything and Jordan says that you need to talk to me about what's going on so then she drives him over to where her baby is where her baby lives you know the family that took her baby in and she says to Jordan that maybe she made the wrong decision she keeps thinking about it and she's not sure if she made the right decision she said that she has three days legally to change her mind next we see Billy and his dad get into an argument and it's a pretty bad argument his dad says that he just walked out on Jordan when Jordan needed him the most and they just go back and forth and Billy said something about that's why you left mom the minute she got sick or the minute you didn't need her or something like that they just kept going back and forth I don't know if these two are ever truly gonna get along next we see Layla go to her dad's record company and this intern kind of gets into it with Layla she wants to know more about patience and her contract and stuff like that and this dude said that her dad will never release patience and Layla just gets kind of heated about the whole situation and she lets this dude have it next we see Asher and Olivia and Asher brings up the whole summer thing with Vanessa again and Olivia says that she doesn't want to hear about it it's history it's old news it is what it is then we see Jordan walk up and he asks if they seen Simone next we get to another session with Spencer and his therapist and I think this right here was the highlight of the episode because something got brought up that needed to get brought up Spencer was talking about Olivia that she was his day one he said I don't know what it is about her but we just vibe we connect with everything and the therapist said look it's clear you're in love with her and Spencer's like no 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 Layla's my girl I'm in love with her Olivia is just my friend and the therapist is like we'll save this conversation for another day so I'm glad they put that in there because Spencer is definitely in love with Olivia you can tell man he definitely has feelings for Olivia like there's no doubt about that and then they just talk more about what his stuck point could be the therapist told him to try to write out his feelings and he gave him homework and stuff but I'm enjoying these therapy sessions I'm glad the therapist brought up that he's in love with Olivia because that's facts now next we see Jordan creep up to this dude's house that has Simone's baby I don't know why he did this but I guess he was looking for Simone dude comes out and takes the trash out and he's like what are you doing do I know you I'm not trying to call the cops on another black man so Jordan gets out and he says that he's Simone's boyfriend Jordan tries explaining everything that Simone didn't really think she made the best decision and this dude told him to get the hell out of there next we see Dylan and Spencer talk a little bit about Darnell Dylan is drawing something he drew something that says King Crenshaw you know he drew a little drawing I love these two their bonding moments 
I really love their little moments as brothers. I really do. Next, we see Cam talking to Darnell, and he's just supporting him. He has his back. And then Spencer walks up, and Cam's like, I got to roll out. And Spencer says, you don't got to leave on account of me. But this dude does not like Spencer. They don't really get along. But later on in the episode, they kind of come together. But Spencer just wants to give advice to Darnell. He just wants to tell him that he's there for him and that he has family in Crenshaw. Next, Asher's working out again. And the coach walks in and he talks to her more about his spot on the team. She kind of gives him constructive criticism. She says that he's not what her daughter says he is because he took steroids. You know, he gave the team's playbook to another team and she was just letting him hear what he had to hear. Now, next we see Coop, Layla and Olivia and Layla is telling Coop that, you know, only she can be in the music video and Patience can't because Patience won't be released from her dad's label. And Olivia is drawing up some plans for the music video and they're just planning everything. Now we see Simone get mad at Jordan because she thinks Jordan went to this dude's house behind her back and she didn't want Jordan to just pop up there but he tells her that he was there looking for her. But she says that she's gonna go get her baby back, that she made the wrong decision. Now we see the Bakers having a family dinner and Jordan's just acting you know, off. So they get Olivia and Grandpa Willie to get out of the room so they can talk to Jordan. He said he's not in much of a talking mood. And Billy says, if you don't want to talk to us, at least go talk to somebody. Now, next we see everybody giving Darnell a surprise going away party. And this was so dope because everybody came together. We even seen Cam and Spencer in the same room. And that was surprising because these two really can't stand each other. But it was dope, man. It was dope. They had balloons, you know, food and everything. And it was just everybody together. And Billy came in, but he ran a little bit late. But he still made it for the party. It's just dope that Darnell came to Crenshaw and he made this many friends. Darnell said that he was going to turn everybody on to Coop's music out in Germany. And then we seen Darnell chopping it up with Dylan. And he was just talking to everybody saying his goodbyes. And it was a really good scene. It was a good moment. Now, Billy says to Spencer that he has a surprise for him outside. So Spencer goes outside and Jordan's out there. Jordan says that he's sorry the way he's been acting. And Spencer says, look, it's all love. We're family. So then Jordan tells him about his little problems with Simone and stuff like that. And they're just talking as brothers, giving each other advice. And I loved this moment too. This episode has so many great moments, you know, brotherhood, friendship, and everything like that. I just love this entire episode. Next, we see Dylan bring out a gift for Darnell. And it's a shirt with Corey and Darnell when he was younger on the shirt. And that was a heavy moment, man, for real. That's definitely a heavy moment. Next, we see Spencer sitting at the table. And we see the drawing that Dylan made that says King Crenshaw and I'm pretty sure that's Corey on there I can't be sure but it looks like Corey but this is the moment in the episode that's crazy Spencer is writing out his feelings like the therapist told him to do you know he's talking while it's showing everybody else's scenes we hear Spencer talking we hear what he's writing and stuff and we finally figure out what he thinks is his stuck point you know we see Coop and Patience at the football field recording their video and then we see jp's record label you know they're getting sued from layla she's suing them because they signed patience when she wasn't of age so they're definitely gonna get their asses handed to them layla is not playing around you know she already has coop on the label and she's trying to take over patience as well now we see asher saying stuff to the team saying that he's gonna be there for everybody on the team he's giving the team advice and the coach overhears him and then the coach tells him that he finally gets it and he definitely made progress so i assume asher's gonna be back on the team then we see jordan leave simone a voicemail and she listens to the voicemail and she listens to the voicemail right as she arrives at the house where they have her baby at and she knocks on the door and the guy comes to the door and she says that she made a mistake. She shouldn't have came there because she sees the wife 
come to the door with the baby and she sees this beautiful moment with these two people and her baby and she's like you know what he's right where he belongs but then they did something really nice and I thought this was a great moment. They told her that she can come inside and they said that, you know, she will always be his mother. So she'll be his second mother. And I thought that was really cool. They were being super nice to her. So I thought that was dope. Now, next we see Spencer walking on the football field and we hear what he was writing on that piece of paper. We still hear him talking. We hear his voice in the background. And then we see Coop and Patience making all types of funny faces and stuff. You know, they're recording their music video. And this is when we hear Spencer say that Coop is his stuck point. He says that he blames Coop for everything because he tried so hard to get Coop out the hood. He tried so hard to talk Coop out of things. You know, he tried to keep her away from Sean and keep her from doing things and not join a gang and stuff. And she didn't listen. And he said because of Coop, he got shot. So he blames Coop. So that definitely put a little twist on it because I didn't expect him to say that. But yeah, he blames Coop. So I guess Coop is his stuck point. And that's the end of the episode. But I thought it was a solid episode, man. It was definitely a good one. I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10. What did you guys think? Comment your thoughts down below. Are you excited for the next one? Because I am. I cannot wait. I love this show so much, man. This is one good thing that's on TV right now that keeps me excited waiting for it every week. But comment your thoughts down below and let me know what you thought of the episode. Keep supporting your boy and I'll be continuing to bring y'all all American content in the future. If you want to donate to the channel, I got links to the PayPal and Cash App accounts in the description. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.